when when you're game planning, how mindful are you of the opposing quarterback and the things that they do, and in terms of keeping them off the field, I guess, with, with uh, what you do offensively? No, there's definitely uh, some complimentary football involved, and I think um, with what we do offensively, it, I think it naturally that that's what we want to do. We want to run the ball and. and uh, collect first down, stay on the field, and, and then create some explosive plays and try to keep their offense off the field. And, and that's pretty much every week. But, um, you know, especially with this with this offense, I think it's it's key for us to be able to move the sticks and, and convert on some third downs and, and stay on the field and keep their offense off. You, you've you run it, I think, 86 times the last two weeks. Have you found something a little bit more in the running game, or is it just strictly who you were playing? Uh, no, I think just uh, – I think we had, particularly last game, had more opportunities, just more more play calls in general. You know, and through the course of the game, the defense was doing a good job getting some three and outs, getting us the ball back, and I uh, just felt like we had more play calls overall. But um, yeah, we're we're going to try to run the ball, and if, if we're doing it effectively, we keep keep doing it. You um, not run as many, I guess, fly sweeps or receiver runs or whatever you want to call it this year as you had the last couple of years. Is that just a coincidence, or is it something you know? That yeah, no, I, I think it, a little bit of coincidence. It's uh, just maybe some of the opponents that we've been playing, and sometimes it's in the plan. It doesn't get called. Um, but it's, it's something that we would like to do more of with those, those receivers. We feel like we, you know, Silas and Ant, Josiah, put the ball in their hands and, and get them in space. That's, that's one of the strengths, um, I feel like, of those guys. And so that's something that we – is a thought. We just probably haven't gotten as many of them called. And I think, you know, maybe the, sometimes the weekly opponent's just not great that week. We don't now that I mentioned it, you'll probably run it eight times. <laughs> Can you take us back a little bit to when you guys recruited Damian? How did you how did you find him? How did you come across him? Do you remember? Uh, Coach uh, AJ Stewart, um, you know, I think had been recruiting him from where he was at previously and knew of him, and, and uh, he he recruited Texas before and um, just uh, developed a great relationship with him and, and uh, really liked him early in the process. Um, and I think Damian came up and and. Uh, you know, enjoyed Corvallis, enjoyed Oregon State, kind of what we had going, and um, and then I feel like the offense, the opportunity to you know touch the ball in a pro style scheme, I think was a big deal. But I think that the primary thing was AJ did a really good job of recruiting him and develop that relationship early in the process. Do you remember like that process, like what when you saw film of him or watched him live, like what stuck out, like when you're like, oh yeah, this is this is the dude. Yeah, no, I, I think he did stick out. I think it was all of us were like, yeah, it's going to be. Um, it's gonna be a tough one to hold on to. You know, he's gonna get a lot of attention, and he did. And, and to AJ's credit, and, um, he just stayed with it, and and, uh, and Damien stayed loyal to us through the process, and it's worked out. What's it like? I mean, it's kind of a stupid question, but just having that guy, like the, I don't want to say a security blanket, but no one run heavy offense we're talking about right now. What's it like having that guy to rely on and a feature and, and use? Yeah, I mean, it's it's great. I mean, he's a he's a He's a, he's a really talented player, and he's experienced in the system, and he's got a really good feel for the wide zone. Um, and, then I, and I also think having you know, a guy like Fenwick behind him um, to keep him fresh. You know, he didn't, he's not having to take every, every snap. And um, like the combination of those two has been, has been really, really good, and I think that's helped uh, Dame out as well. He's kind of a, a quiet dude, huh? Kind of keeps to himself a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And that's what you see behind the scenes, too. He's pretty... Quiet, yeah, quiet guy. I think he opens up once you get to know him a little yeah. bit, a little bit more. But yeah, he's he's a quiet guy and keeps himself and focused on the task at hand. Damian said after the game he felt like he could have got a fifth and a sixth touchdown against Stanford the other day. Have you guys ever taken into consideration like letting them chase those records, or is there any conversations about those records going on? No, I mean maybe on the sideline between those guys, but that's with the staff, not really. I mean I think there was. Um, going into the game, it was like, man, Damien's right around a thousand yards. It'd be nice to be nice to get over that mark this week. But I mean, no, I mean that's not not a thought. We were whoever happened to be in for the play was going to you know have the opportunity wherever they were. The offense really got in the groove early on in that game. Is that sort of a similar game plan that you guys want to have against this Washington team, knowing that they're able to give up some points but also score a lot of points? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, that's plan every week. We want to come out, start fast, and. I think get the you know, important to get the quarterback in a rhythm. I thought DJ uh, hit some things early and, and got going, and you know always gives you confidence. Get get some scores on some of those early drives, get a lead, and um, yeah, that's something that I think will be will be huge this week. And um, just I think both teams uh, don't necessarily run a lot of plays. I think that'll be a that'll be a key factor. Is just knowing that you know we may not get as many 
opportunities as we typically get. I think it'll be you know similar, maybe a little bit more to the Arizona game, where where each team um, you know they shift in motion, they go no huddle, but a lot of shift in motion, and you know we're a huddle team, so it just just the, uh, may not be as many drives, I guess, as I'm saying many opportunities as we had. With how Washington's been having sort of their last couple games, how important is it for you guys to end these drives in touchdowns rather than field goals? Uh, it's huge, and that, that cost us in last year's game. And we had we had two opportunities, um, fourth down, deep in the red zone, and came away with no points, and that ended up being the difference in the game. So, um, yeah, especially with the way their offense scores and the efficiency with what the, which, uh, the way they operate, it's, it's going to be key for us when we get those opportunities to turn them into touchdowns. Uh, one other recurring, Damian, what, what's been your experience about the progress for a running back going from his freshman to sophomore year in terms of you know, what, what they're able to do? Yeah, I think that um, Damian was kind of, uh, you know, you, you try to avoid that kind of sophomore slump. Sometimes guys that have success early as a freshman think it's just they're just going to show up and forget how hard they worked to get to that point and have that success as a freshman. So I think Damian... Um, you know, KB, your running backs coach, did a good job of kind of staying on him, pushing him, and, and uh, he had a great offseason. Um, and I just think those guys really make jumps, um, understanding of the scheme, you know, with what we do, and then I think make jumps, uh, you know, away from when they're touching the ball as, as far as their ability and the protection, understanding the protections, uh, run, catching the ball at the backfield, detail of routes, and I think Damian's grown a lot in that area. Yeah. When you look at this Washington defense, where, what do you see in them, especially like later in, later in the season when we're out right now? Um, you know, the thing that jumps off the film are the, are the, the, the front seven and the edge, particularly the edge players, I think are, they're long, athletic, explosive, and that, that's going to be, a, I mean, it'll be a, it'll be a really challenge for, for our tackles because I feel like we've got some pretty good tackles too, and I think, think these, those guys are two of the best guys in the conference. Um, you know, and, and their front seven, I feel like, does, does a nice job, and um, the secondary has been opportunistic. Um, and, and for us, I think it's when we get those opportunities down the red zone, uh, we've got to we've got to be able to score touchdowns, and that's what we you know failed to do you know a couple times last year. Are, it sounds maybe like have the regular offensive line there with maybe Jake back this week. Does it help though having established some real depth? Um, you had it coming in, but now the guy's gotten a lot of playing time uh, to mix and match pieces. You know, yeah. if something happens in this game. No, I think the experience is huge. That's that's key. Um, anytime you can get, you know, Grant Stark played a lot for us. Uh, moving Tanner Miller over to center and, and to get uh, him some, you know, some live meaningful reps at the center position. Um, you know, if Jake's unable to go, I think that's that's huge. Gives you your quarterback a lot of more confidence, and then us definitely. Um, just knowing that hey, these guys have have some real live action, some experience, something to build off of. They're not just going in there fresh. How nice was it to be able to get Ben in there and even complete a pass? And what has been sort of his reaction to where, or how has he handled his position and basically on the depth charts in the quarterback position? No, and Ben's Ben's uh, Ben's been awesome, and I know it's been a, it's a tough situation for him, and um, I just know that you know that Coach Smith, uh, uh, myself, the program really we just all really appreciate the way that he's he's gone about the process, and uh, he's very deserving to get in there. It was awesome to go see him. Get, you, get a completion and, and the reaction from the crowd I thought was was well deserved when he, when he came to the game because he's done a lot for this program he's done a lot for the team and he's been very supportive of DJ and Aiden uh, through the whole process so I think he's a class act and I think it says a lot about him it's, it's cool to see him get out there